gang guess where we at guess where we at guess where we are i'm not sure if you all can see it but that's the famous that's the famous hillbro tower yep we are in hillbro <laughs> and i got i got my maps open yeah it's been a while since i drove in hillbro so um i don't really know um like my way around it especially this part uh so that's why i have my nav on so yeah we in hillbro we are in hillbro let's check it out um it's sunday it's almost four it's like half past uh, three so i wonder what's gonna be happening is it gonna be busy or is it gonna be more chill but let's go check it out we got a tan here i know i need to find claim street you know, once I find Claim Street, then I know where to go. So here, I'm gonna have to turn. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn here. And then I think, wait a minute. And then here I just go straight. This doesn't look like Claim though, but let's just drive and see. Man, the roads are, roads are messed up. So, if you don't know what Hillbro is, it's like it's like the most famous, you know, part of uh, Jobek, and not for good reasons though. <laughs> it's notorious for bad stuff, and you can already see that this is not a very friendly area. Okay, I'm gonna go since Buddy doesn't wanna go. You can already see. that this is not the place to be like it's a lot happening and um not for good reasons and there's taxis everywhere bro there's like taxis driving everywhere stopping everywhere it's like it's like the capital of outlaws uh, yeah. Yeah, this is hill, bro. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, this is claim. Now I know where I'm at. Now I know where I'm at. Okay. Now I know where I'm at. I, I can put the phone away. So yeah, Hillbro is a famous job at place. Um, famous for being like basically it's i feel like there's no hope for hillbro unless something big is done because it's famous for things like crime um being neglected you know just uh, a horrible place to live and you can see um you can see with uh you know the surroundings and shit So, so far we good. The roads are definitely bumpy and a lot is definitely happening. <laughs> but at least uh, I kind of know where I'm at. So this is good. This is Claim Street and we just passed our uh, Summit Club. It's like a famous uh, club in Hillbro. And then up ahead, we have the Juvet Park area. We have the Juvet Park area and we're gonna continue straight on our uh, on claim and see what's happening. So claim is like one of the biggest streets in uh in Jobek, especially when you come from um this side from behind me. And then on the right you're gonna have the Juvet Park. That's why this area is called the Juvet Park. So that's where the park is at. It used to be a nice park, but obviously 
it's a part of Hillbro, so it has been hij hijacked by you know homeless people. And I think uh, on the left, I know on the left actually, it's uh, UJ. Is the UJ campus, um, the UJ DFC campus, right? Yeah, see. And what makes it worse is that none of the traffic lights work, so it makes it even like it makes it crazy to drive it. Like, so when I was in Vasit, I used to stay here. This is like the gateway student accommodation. So, yeah, we are we are just exiting Hilbra now. We survived. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not gonna drive around it. I just wanted to pass through it to see uh, what it's all about. Um, driving around it is just uh, too risky, um, and the biggest risk is the road because I've like I even like driven inside it a lot, so I don't want to be like driving inside 50 meter deep portals and fucking up the car. So we're just gonna head out. It, Honestly, this part still looks like you, bro. On the right side, this is where you live. The MTN takes your rank. Man, so much happening, it's insane. Turn right here, so let me, bro. Are you? Whoa! Right, so we're gonna turn here. Wonder if I'm gonna be able to turn, but let's see. Let's hit this side. This dude just stopped in the middle of the road to like for someone to get off. So I think this is like now all the shops are closed, but this is like where you get all the counterfeit, counterfeit and and fake shops and uh, and all those things. All uh, right, you can see all of them are packing. So all these shops, like, they sell all the crazy, this dude. <laughs> mm. And then there you have small and you have a baby running in the road. That's drive manual for a second man there's so many taxis in Jobek I know there's a lot of taxis but damn they are everywhere okay
Yeah, so I get a lot of, uh, I get a lot of like, I get gang questions like, is it safe to drive in uh, in town? I feel like it depends, you know, to be honest. I mean, I have no problem with it. Like, it depends, it is. I mean, if you're just driving, mm, I feel like nothing much is gonna happen. Like, I don't think anyone is gonna take your car. Um, so that part, that part, I think it's fine. I think it's completely fine. Like, I feel like the only risky thing is, uh, you know, like, and it's not really like issue with Joe Bag. I feel like it's a South African like problem overall. Like, it's smash and grab and stuff so obviously when you drive around you're not supposed to keep valuable stuff on uh on your seats and all of that and you're gonna be okay but i think like risks of hijacking are are much lower i feel like they're low man like i haven't had like i haven't like had any incidents maybe i don't follow the news but honestly i haven't i haven't had any like incidents of um like all these things happening in town it's more like when you are walking um when you're walking on foot that's when like they take changes but with driving i think it's fine only shit you gotta worry about is shit like you know like smash and grab and all of that and obviously you need to check um like the roads and stuff because they're not like they're not the best of conditions well same thing can be said for all south african roads but like in Joburg it's worse you all can hear the car like rattle and all of that because of you know like the bumpy roads um and all of that so that yeah it's uh you know those are the only um uh, thing to keep in mind what else i would say um um obviously other drivers so driving in town is very hectic because it's a very busy place and uh it's dominated by like taxis and stuff and we know they drive <laughs> we know they have their own style of driving so it's gonna be like bumper to bumper and like car to car like the guy is just gonna be here so if you don't have the confidence when it comes to driving maybe 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 not because of just because of that but if you're okay and uh you have like good control of the car especially if you're driving a manual it's much easier to like um you know drive a manual especially in you know in traffic um and all of that this guy is not moving so we're gonna go so yeah but overall it's um it's okay but i don't come to town because i say that it's just from my experience i'm not saying it's like it's like the safest place to drive at but for me it's been chill the only th annoying things are those uh that i mentioned um this is the ponte tower by the way yeah, the only th annoying thing is what I mentioned, like, you know, like the driving, the road and like making sure your variables are not um, in sight and you're going to be fine. Right, so I'm heading out of town now. I'm just going to end the video. Um, I'm heading to the east of Joburg to get my hair cut. I'm going to check you all out in, uh, in the next one. Uh, don't forget to like and, uh, and subscribe, right? Don't forget that. Show some love. Show some love. Hey.